ask two homeowners if they prefer the roof painted or not. And you're gonna get two different answers. But the benefits of a painted roof are big. It helps to seal those hairline cracks and holes, which reduces water ingress. And a roof that is painted in a light color reflects heat, therefore keeping the room cooler. And it also adds that curb appeal, which shows that you're taking good care of your investment. Now this roof covers a double garage. The tiles have been here for years and lichen and moss have started to grow on the actual tiles. Now we need to clean this roof completely and preparation is key. I'm gonna give it a thorough cleaning with a high pressure cleaner and use a scraper to remove any stubborn dirt. Remember, when using a hose or high pressure cleaner, to always work in a top down manner to avoid spraying water under the tiles and into the ceiling area and take care when working around the plaster on the ridge capping. Once the roof is clean, I'll leave it to dry. So the roof has dried and we can now paint it with a coat of fired earth bonding liquid. Bonding liquid is an acrylic latex additive that can be used with all cementurous based products in order to improve adhesion, flexibility and waterproofing properties. It is used when extra bonding strength is required. In this case, we want the paint to adhere as well as possible. This roof is under huge exposure to the elements. Bonding liquid dries to a clear finish and should be painted with the color of your choice within 48 hours. When painting such a large area, I recommend using a block brush or at least something a bit more substantial than a normal sized paintbrush. It just speeds up the job. There we are. The bonding liquid is dried and we can now apply two coats of Fired Earth Extreme Roof Paint. This is a high quality acrylic which dries to a medium sheen. It has outstanding weathering and alkali resistance and it's non-chalking. It is available in a range of standard colors and can be painted onto suitably prepared fiber cement products such as fascia boards and barge boards, roof sheets, clay or cement roof tiles and pre-primed galvanized iron roofs. So we're using a block brush to apply the paints as well as a smaller paint brush for those finer details. See when it comes to those tiny gaps, it really comes in handy. So I've left this to dry for the recommended four to six hours, which means I can now paint on the second coat. Just make sure that when you decide to paint your roof, pick a sunny day, it's gonna help the paint to dry. We don't want any dew to settle on the wet paint and we want it to cure as much as possible before nightfall. Cleaning is easy. Should be done with water and a little soap if necessary while the brushes are still wet. Now look at that. From the old weathered worn out tiles with a reddish color to this beautiful burgundy finish. I think this looks outstanding. And having used the quality products and the right preparation, I know this is going to last me for years. This, something you can also definitely do in your own spare time. Go ahead. Give it a try. Now remember, everything I've used today is available at Builders in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.